After more than three weeks of deliberation, a federal jury has found INSEAS Therapeutics founder John Kapoor, as well as three former INSEAS managers, guilty of racketeering conspiracy. The trial against former billionaire Kapoor and four other company executives began in January and lasted into April. INSEAS managers Michael Gurry, Richard Simon, Sunrise Lee were also convicted. The executives were accused of conspiring to bribe clinicians to prescribe the company's potent fentanyl spray medication off-label. The jury began deliberations over three weeks ago on April 8. Today's convictions mark the first successful prosecution of top pharmaceutical executives for crimes related to the illicit marketing and prescribing of opioids, said U.S. Attorney Andrew E. Lelling in a statement. Just as we would street-level drug dealers, we will hold pharmaceutical executives responsible for fueling the opioid epidemic by recklessly and illegally distributing these drugs, especially while conspiring to commit racketeering along the way. Kapoor was profiled by Forbes in 2016. During an interview for the story, Kapoor told Forbes, My involvement is I am an investor. He said, As an investor I'm on a board. As a board member and an investor you are involved, but you are not involved in day-to-day -day operations, and that's where the problems come in. The next year in October 2017 he was indicted by the Department of Justice on racketeering and other charges related to conspiracy to bribe doctors the same day that President Trump declared the opioid crisis a public health emergency. Kapoor pleaded not guilty a few weeks later in November 2017. Six others from the company had been indicted on charges in December 2016, and two, former CEO Michael Babich and former Vice President of Sales Alec Berlakoff, pleaded guilty before this year's trial began. Last December Kapoor's net worth, based mostly on his stakes in Insys Therapeutics and generic drug firm Acorn, had dropped below $1 billion for the first time since he joined the ranks of the world's billionaires five years earlier. At market close Thursday INSEE stock was trading down about 1.5% to $4.15 per share. While Kapoor stepped down as CEO and chairman in January 2017, INSEE's reported in its annual report in March that as part of the company's indemnity agreement with Kapoor that it had noted $25.7 million in legal expenses last year to pay for his criminal and civil defense and had so far paid $5.6 million in cash related to those fees. Separately, in August INSEE's agreed to pay $150 million over five years to settle the Department of Justice's criminal and civil investigation into how the company sold its fentanyl spray. Subsease. At its peak in 2015, annual sales of Subsease reached $329 million. Sales of the drug were $58.6 million in 2018.